This is a review of this Hanskit 9305D unit. It's a three-in-one unit and it has the hot air station, soldering iron, and then it's also a switching power supply. What attracted me to this unit in particular was the power supply capability to go up to 30 volts and 5 amps, which is substantially higher than most of the units online, unless you go very high-end. I bought it off AliExpress. The seller was Hanskit, H-A-N-D-S-K-I-T, for about 195 Australian dollars, 150 US dollars approximately. Um, it arrived well packaged and within about two weeks, which is pretty fast. Um, as far as the soldering function is concerned, um, I don't have a great deal of experience with various soldering irons. I can't really talk to you too much about it, but um, I've done some soldering with this so far. Um, it, it works fine. It comes with a variety of tips. Turn on the power. I've got it set to 370 degrees. You can see it coming up to temperature. Um, as you can see, it comes up to temperature pretty fast. Um, I'll just show you how long that takes. I had that set to 370. That's, I guess that would took 15 seconds or so. I didn't actually count. You can calibrate the temperature here. So if you've got the ability to measure the actual tip temperature of your soldering iron, you can you can calibrate the uh, hot air and the soldering temperatures just using this calibration button over here. Now I did just try out the temperature on the uh, soldering iron but all I've got to measure it with is the temperature function on a multimeter and it's pretty hard to get perfect contact between the probe and the soldering iron tip. I got 343 degrees on the on the uh, multimeter but I think there's a very good chance that that's measuring error rather than actually being a function of the uh, of the soldering irons calibration being off. It comes with this separate rest. It's a standard cheapo rest. It, it's a bit too light and it doesn't have rubber feet on it, which the solder does tend to skate across the desk a little. When you take the soldering iron out, I'll certainly be putting some rubber feet on the bottom of mine and probably putting some weight in here so that it doesn't have that tendency to slide around. The cord is about, um, about a meter long, I suppose. Um, I would say it's silicon. Uh, it has that sort of soft, dull look to it, uh, but I haven't actually tried melting it yet, so I couldn't tell you for certain. Um, as far as the performance of guns concerned though, it seems to be good. It comes up to temperature quickly. Um, I haven't actually tested the temperature on it yet. I'll do that in a minute. I've only got the multimeter probe. I don't know how accurate it is, but um, there you go. Um, I've set 320 on the screen, and on the multimeter I've got uh, 321. Look within three degrees, that seems pretty good. It has um, a couple of safety features. One, I can't get to work at all. So maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe uh, it's not working. If I'm reading it right, and it is written in Chinese English, but if I'm reading it right, it says that um, it shouldn't start up or can be capable of starting up if it's out of the handle. But if I move the handle right away over here and then turn it on. It uh, actually comes up to temperature which, as I'm reading the manual, it shouldn't do. It should, uh, it should refuse to turn on unless it's sitting here in the cradle. So there's something not working quite right there. Um, but the second safety feature is, is that it should go to sleep when you put it back in the handle up there. So it's currently asleep. If I pick it up, you'll see it quickly comes up to temperature, which is nice. Put it back in the holder and you'll see the temperature's dropping down. There is one catch with it though, which I, took me a while to figure out, which is that um, it seems to depend which way around you put it. If you put it on its edge, like that, you see the temperature's dropping. But um, if you put it flat like that, so that the, uh, the handle's flat this way, instead of on its edge like that, you see put it on edge and it goes. Now, I don't know how this is working. It's, it might well be uh, a hall effect sensor in here. I might take that apart and see if I can improve that or see if there's something wrong in there. But at the moment, that's not really working properly because it's only if you put it this way up that it actually uh, drops the temperature down. I've got this multimeter showing volts. This one's uh, hooked up in series and it's showing uh, current. So the voltage is pretty much perfect. Um, the current, 
the power supply persistently re reads about 27 milliamps too low, um, which I don't know, I might see if I can try to adjust that somehow, but um, yeah, it seems to be a little on the low side. Um, I've tried that out with a couple of meters, it's consistent. I wanted to load test this thing up to 30 volts and 5 amps. Now at the moment I've got the uh, volts turned down and if I just turn that up all the way, and I've already got the amps turned up all the way, you'll see that um, we have a perfect 5 amps here and if you just give this a few seconds it takes a little bit for the resistance to come up and there we go, 30 volts and 5 amps, perfect. Um, According to multimeters, it's pretty much perfect. If you, if you, according to the uh, screen, you'll see that the voltage is reading a little bit high, and the amps a little bit low. My overall summation, um, for the price, it seems to me to be very good. Uh, I am a little bit disappointed at the design flaws with respect to the um, auto features of the hot air gun, and I would have liked to send a little bit more accuracy in the ammeter. Um, I would be interested to read a review of the Yahua 853D in the heavy duty model with the 30 volt 5 amp output to see how it compares. Um, there is quite a substantial difference in price so I think this is probably good value but um, I would be interested to see whether the, the competition doesn't have these flaws in which case it might be worth considering if you aren't too worried about the money.